What's up guys, MGH here and welcome to the final episode of Season 3 in the Portsmouth Road to Glory. It's gone so, so quick. Obviously in the last episode we had a lot of games covered and now there's only a few left to go and it's big guys. If we can get one point in the next game, we will be champions of the championship and we will be going through to the Premier League in first position. But first we've got to get that point and we're up against Wolves. Now, it is a home game. I'm expecting a win because, well, we're at home and Wolves aren't even in the top six. Let's see what happens. They've won their last three games at least. And we've got a loss. Are you kidding me? I just needed one point. No way. I cannot believe that's just happened. So now we have to move on into the next game and hope we get the point there. But Anderson and McDonald get the goals there and we've actually failed to score. Well, we've got some training before the next game. Can we get any growth? Yes, we can. Look at that. Max Mint is now 77 rated. And finally, he has 80 finishing. Now, when Nacho left, he had 82 finishing. So he really is very close to catching up with him. Can he do it before the end of the season? I'm not sure. Bailey's gone to 74. And McNerney almost halfway to 78. Oh, and I've just seen this guy. It's Oliviera, who got injured in that game. He's going to be out for five weeks. That is a pain in the ass. We now have no left backs available. So I think Bushagli will play at left back and Dornbush will come in and play centre back in the next game. And of course, it had to be Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. You guys know I really, really struggle here. It's just the worst timing. I need a point from this game to win the league title. Can I do it? It's a challenge though, guys. I'm excited to take them on. This is their team. It looks like they've got Andy Carroll up front. Is that really Andy Carroll? I think it might be. It's a very strong team that. No wonder they have been one of my main rivals this season. But obviously towards the end, they've kind of tailed off. They haven't been doing so well. Here is my lineup. We've got Bushagli playing at left back, which he can play at, by the way. And Dornbush comes in at centre-back instead. Otherwise, it's my best team available. Come on, boys. Let's do this. I cannot and I will not lose here again. It would be so embarrassing if I lose here three times in a row. Oh, it'd be so frustrating. And straight away, Andy Carroll with the shot. It's gone wide, but a good start from Bournemouth there. It was actually deflected, so they've got a corner. And I need to watch out for Andy Carroll. We know how good he is in the air. Not a very good delivery, but I've just put it straight back into the danger zone. What am I thinking? Oh my god, they've hit the bar already. Here goes Bailey on this right side. He's got that pace. I'm not worried about anyone catching me. Can I get a good cross in, though? Loftus-Cheek back post. No way has he missed that. No way. He has got to score that. An amazing cross from Bailey, but oh, Loftus-Cheek, mate. Come on, one last attack this half. Come on. Over here to Maximin. Not bad. Inside to Riley again. Yes, he's gone through. Oh, Elphick. Really good defending from Bournemouth there. They're so difficult to break down. I don't know what it is, guys. And yet again, I have not scored against them in a half. We need to play better in this second half and we need to get a goal. Although a nil-nil is enough. I keep forgetting a nil-nil is enough. But I want to win this game. I want to beat them finally and prove to you I can do it. Here come Bournemouth. It's a good ball. Oh, Zhang. What a save. That is absolutely world class. Surely that was a, a certain goal. How has he saved this? Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. And now they've got a corner. We need to defend against this. They've got some big players in there like Mings. Get it out, please. Thank you very much. Here we go on the break with Bailey. He's found Maximin. Back up to Bailey. Yes, yeah, surely. Surely now we're going to get the goal. Come on, Bailey. Come on. Hit it. No freaking way. I should have passed it. I should have been sweaty up here to McNerney. Oh, he's taking him on. Top left corner. Yes, there we go. McNerney is an absolute hero. What a signing he's turned out to be. What a finish that was. I can't believe we're actually doing it, guys. Look at that. Oh, the turn. It's just so quick. And the finish as well. So close to being saved. But it's such a good finish. Oh, man. I'm so happy that's gone in. I'm proving to you guys I can beat Bournemouth away from home it's happening it's happening here goes McNerney again you can't tackle him he's just so freaking quick here's Riley now hit that go on oh it's hit the post no way Bailey back here to Rose get the ball in oh it's a terrible cross oh it should be 2-0 no idea what Maximin's doing here but we'll get the cross in hopefully with Gray oh that's a good delivery Riley's there he's offside is he no he's not here's Maximin again what a cross that is go on Yes! It's McNerney again! No way! Oh, wow! He's done it again, guys. 2-0 now, and that is surely game over. What a cross this is from Maximin. 
That first touch is just, it's disgustingly good. And the header as well from one of the smallest players on the pitch, five foot seven. He's managed to squeeze it in. How many goals has he got now? Six since January. Fantastic form from McNerney there. And that is it, guys. We are going to be champions of the championship. It is done. Yes. Oh, man, what a season. Absolutely demolished this league. There was a slight problem about, what is it, three months in where I lost five games in a row. But we turned the season around. And since then, we have not looked back. We've been fantastic. And that wraps up our season pretty much now. Just a few more games to go. Look how small he is compared to Riley. <laughs> that looks hilarious. But yeah, a few more games to go, guys. And we will lift that trophy. And now for another game up against Derby now at home. Obviously, it doesn't matter whether we win, lose or draw. We have won the league already. And we actually get a 1-0 loss. Oh, come off it, guys. Come on, we played so well the whole season. Don't, don't get a bunch of losses now. And now for the final away game of the season up against Nottingham Forest here. Can we get a win this time round? Yes, we can. And Maximin has scored. God, I wonder how many goals he's going to finish with. He's got 32 goals in the championship this season. That is truly incredible. He's got double the amount of goals that Stuani and Asumbalonga have got. I mean, that that's not real. That is completely ridiculous. But Maximin has been pretty much player of the season. Let's be honest, guys. Absolutely incredible signing. And he really has replaced Nacho beautifully. And this is it, guys. The final game in the championship. Our last game before taking the plunge into the Premier League. Come on, let's let's do something big here. Let's get a big win to finish off the season. Here goes McNerney onto his left foot. That five-star weak foot can come in handy sometimes. But that time, it's just over the bar. Good start, though. Gomez fresh back from injury. Nice little pass inside to Gray. Over top for Loftus-Cheek. Hit it on the volley. Oh, McCarthy just let it go in. That would have been a stunning goal. Here goes Bailey. He's around two. Look at this. Inside to Riley now. Back to Bailey. No way. Come on, finish it. No, McCarthy yet again in the way. Into Gray. Here we go. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. I see Maximin making a run, but I think I'm going to have to cut back here. Inside. Loftus cheek. No, again, blocked. When am I going to score? And there is half time. Only 45 minutes remain of the season. Currently, we're playing well, but we're not really we're not really finishing things in style. I want to end on a high, so let's hope for a better second half, guys. Inside to Loftus-Cheek. Oh, look at the space here for McNerney. Surely this will be 1-0. Finesse shot to the far corner. No! Again, it is saved. Over the top. What a ball to Maximin. Surely now. Hits it with your left. No, McCarthy saves it yet again. Inform McCarthy, please, EA. And find Maximin, maybe. Lovely. Little one, too. Oh, it's beautiful. Surely Rose is going to finish it. No freaking way. It's yet another save. I think this is going to be it, guys. I don't think we're going to get a chance. No, it finishes nil-nil. But, guys, we're about to lift the trophy. It didn't matter what result we got today, of course. I just wanted to finish in style with a good result. But, guys, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Look, we're celebrating absolutely fantastic season we'll ignore that little blip of form where we lost five in a row because since then we have been a truly fantastic team i love this team and we are going into the premier league and once again guys it's the captain of the club loftus cheek one of the first signings i've made he has now reached 77 overall he's played pretty much every game he's going to lift the championship trophy and that is it guys we've done it Technically, we've achieved our goal of reaching the Premier League, but I'm not finished here, guys. I am not finished. We are going to go into that Premier League and we are going to fight. And hopefully, in the next few seasons, we will take part in either the Euro League or the Champions League. Come on, we can do this. And there is confirmation of the league table after 46 games, guys. 32 wins, 6 draws, 8 losses. We scored a massive 75 goals. Not as much as Hull City, who got 79. But we only conceded 32. I mean, that is fantastic. 43 goal difference and 102 points. Once again, for the second season in a row, we have reached that 100 mark. 102 points. That is a lot. 
and we go into the Premier League in very, very good form. Unfortunately, we couldn't get Maximin another goal in that last game, but he does finish first, of course, with 32 goals. That is, wow, that is a lot of goals. Is there anyone else here on the list from Portsmouth? No, unfortunately not. In terms of assists, look at that. Gray is on top with 14. Putting him at Cam really helped out. He got a lot of assists since we signed McNerney. We've got uh, St. Maximin with 10, so he's probably been the best player in the league. We've then got Houston on eight. Anyone else? I don't think so. That is really, really good. And there you go. We always thought this would happen. The clean sheets obviously has been won by Zhang with 22. So guys, this is it. Are we going to get sacked? I really hope not. We've just won manager of the season. That's pretty obvious why. We've obviously come first. We've done really well. But guys, some really, really bad news. But Shagley wants to leave the club. He says, I'm really sorry, but this is not working out for me. And I have to leave. Why? Just, just why? You can make friends in England. Honestly, right. So what we'll do is obviously we'll fix this next season. Either we'll loan him out and then recall him or we sell him and get someone else. We'll probably get 10 million for him. But let me know in the comments below. Do I keep Bashagli or do I sell Bashagli? Let me know. I need your feedback. So the board are very happy with me. They said before the season started, the club set you a target to fight for promotion. And congratulations on exceeding what was expected of you. It's been an amazing season for the team. There we go. And also, they were very happy with my performance in the domestic cup. So guys, it's official. We are going into the Premier League right now. We're going to see how much money we've got to play with. It's official, guys. We are now a Premier League club. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited to be here. And here are the 20 teams fighting for the Premier League title. It looks as if it was Fulham and Hull City who came up with us. God, it's going to be a difficult league campaign. Just looking at some of the clubs we're going to play against. I've got no idea how it's going to go. Now let's have a look at our objectives. So the domestic cup is to reach the round of 32. Completely fair enough. There is the budget. And it's a massive £15.5 million and 70000 per week. We can do a lot of damage with that, I'm sure. And sign up some of the players that I've been waiting to sign. For example, I offer. I want him so bad and we will definitely try and get him. The league objective is, of course, to avoid relegation. Can we avoid it? Definitely. I think we can finish in the top 10 in the first season. I really think that. But guys, you're going to have to wait and find out when season four begins in the next few days. I really hope you've enjoyed season three. I know it went really quick. But guys, this is where the real challenge begins. I said this last year, but once again, the team appeared to be a little bit too strong. But right now, it's really obvious that this is where the challenge begins. There is nowhere near enough players in my squad that are high rated enough to compete with some of the big clubs in the Premier League. So it's definitely going to be difficult. Thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like rating. If we could hit 5,000 likes on this episode, I would be eternally grateful. And if also you could subscribe if you're new around here and never miss another episode, you do not want to miss the Premier League season. I can assure you of that. And uh, I will see you in the next episode very soon.